All right then, boom. Liverpool versus Brighton. Oh, we love a game like this. We always love a game like this because we always do well against Liverpool. You never walk alone. And now that is, that's going to be ringing in my ears today because they're going to be all forced today. Let's be real. They're going for that title. Bosh. All right, we're with Moral today, and uh, you just told me from New Jersey, USA. Yes, sir. Have you traveled just for this game today? First time here, came from New Jersey uh, a couple days ago, first time in Liverpool, so can't wait. You brought the sun with you, it's actually quite sunny for once in England, but what's your prediction? Liverpool and Brighton, do you know much about Brighton? I know that we're going to win 5-0, that's my prediction, uh, a big win today, I'm feeling confident. As a Liverpool fan, are you sad to see Klopp leaving? I've never been here before, yeah. I just needed to be here to witness him in the yeah. stadium coaching so I'm glad I'm here and yeah it, it hurts a lot. I'm actually a Brighton fan don't know if I told you oh, okay. that but there's been a lot of rumours for our manager taking over Klopp's job possibly Roberto Zerbi do you know much about him and do you think he'll be a good manager for Liverpool? I think he could do good I've yeah. seen him before in the USA he played a friendly he's kind of like crazy yeah. on the sidelines reminds me of Klopp a little bit but I think he could do a good job. Right so I want to know who do you think is going to win the Premier League? Is it going to be Liverpool? Hmm let me know down in the comments Okay, we're joined with Matthew, Liverpool fan. What do you think about today? Obviously, Brighton, you never normally do that well against Brighton, do you guys? Uh, it could be, it'd be, it'd be a tough game, but like, yeah. I'm confident for, for the win. Who is, um, sort of, because I'm a Brighton fan, right? So who's the players to look out for today? Like Liverpool? Yeah. Salah's always a threat. Yeah. Uh, yes, Nunez has been on form recently. He's been scoring. I do sort of scratch my head with this game today because I'm a little bit worried and I think I can just see it on a lot of Brighton fans' faces. We're a little bit down on just everything that's going on at the moment with Roberto De Zerbi. It's just the uncertainty. Is he staying with us? Is he not next season? There's still a lot of injuries going on. There's no Jao Pedro. There's no Julio Enciso. Uh, now Billy Gilmore as well and Karim Matoma. And um, it's just not looking very positive right now, as I say, you know, a draw would be would be excellent. I think it would uh, definitely cheer the fans up after the big rumours about, you know, Roberto De Zerbi, Bayern Munich, and of course, Roberto De Zerbi and Liverpool as well. Mads, Mads. It's tone, and I'm in the zone. In the zone with the tone. We got it. We got in the zone with the tone with us today. But yes, big one, big one. And here we go. About to start the match off. Oh, it's going to him as well. Well done, Dunk. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. Quite on the tag. We enjoyed our early bounce, didn't we? Oh, yes, we had a good bounce. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 
so I'm looking forward to another bounce hopefully later. Don't be mad. Loving it. Oh, absolutely loving it. Oh, hit it well, mate. Oh, well done, Eddie. Hit it well, Steph. Oh, 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 Closer again, Danny, Danny's on fire. Danny Welbeck, he's on fire. He's our best player so far, but no. And oh, this is not this. Oh, no. Oh, no. There it is. Half time. I'll take that. I'll take that. say the atmosphere has come all from the Liverpudlians and none from the Brightonians. Nice. Come on Brighton, get the atmosphere. Come on. Come on. Come on Brighton. Make a mistake here. Lulana. Oh. Good, they are good. Harvey Elliott. Okay then here we are for the match reaction with in the zone with the tone and uh, we were in the zone weren't we in the first half brought in some fantastic football and to be honest with you I come into this game well I come to the end of this game feeling not frustrated but sad for Brighton because I you know I thought at the start we deserved something second half though it tends to happen second half it's either we're good at the first half or not so yeah and we always change so it can be really good at first half and then not so good at second or we're really bad at first half and good at second we can't seem to quite get in consistency maybe it's the players and the and the sort of squad depth and that kind of thing players are tired and we can't bring in our b team to save us sure. so i want it a fantastic two minutes and it the problem is we always give ourselves hope don't we yeah. we always do and it's so annoying because we came into this game and even at the end there even at the end there we still had chances i know, I know. and that's the frustrating part it was at the start we brought it and at the end yeah, we brought it but in the middle yeah. I think, uh, I mean, Welbeck's had a wonderful game. Wow. I thought he was wow. head and shoulders above the majority of our yeah. players. Yeah. Perv's had a very poor left back position. And Dinker did well when he had the ball, but tackling, well, you know, he doesn't know how to tackle. Yeah, so physically quite physically weak. Physically and I think sometimes he loses the mentality yeah. to get the ball and yeah. gives up too easily. Um, shame to only see three, four minutes of Barco, though. Yeah, I mean, he's going to take him five minutes to get into the game anyway. Yeah. And he made a couple of mistakes, but. That's, he's got to get to the, up to the pace of the game. For sure. Uh, but no, I'm not disappointed. No. I, no. I thought we might lose this, if I was honest with you. We when all we did. spoke about we it earlier did. on. We did. Uh, but to come away with just a 2-1 defeat, there was a little bit of spirit there. Yeah. Um, we seemed to run out of ideas still a little bit in the midfield, mm. and we're still trying to walk that perfect goal in. Yeah. And we've had that flavour for the whole of the season. Yeah. You know, we look at Welbeck when he hit against Roma from 25 yards, and again today, that was just instinct. Do you think it was uh, just slacking off a bit? Because the first half, we did everything right. We couldn't have done anything better. To be fair, they had their chances first half, but I thought, but I thought first half, probably a draw was a, was a fair result yeah. at half time. I say. So, second half, it was either going to turn good or bad, yeah. and unfortunately just went a little bit the wrong way. Mm. Uh, their goal, again, McAllister, lovely passing and uh, Salah there just to put it in the side uh, oh they had a th third goal which was offside but yeah. can't tell that from the way in can we it was nice to see uh, Big Macca coming over to us so the yes. away fans are saying oh, something that just shows us yeah the Brighton shirt as well 
it just shows the personality of the chap. I mean, he knows where he played for three years with us. Yeah. He hasn't forgotten us. And that was a lovely touch, I thought. That was, you know, that was special. Yeah. You know. And I was proud of it because we're on TV today and we're not always on TV and to show people, you know, even the Liverpool fans from across the world watching games like this, I still think to myself, yeah, it's still good that people, you know, because I, I know a lot of people recently said, oh, Brighton, have, they've slacked off. They haven't done as, quite as well as they have, you know, last season. But today, especially first time, I've still shown that we can bring something. I mean, Roberto Zerbi wants to go, doesn't he, uh, for the European spot again, yeah, doesn't he? Of course he does. Um, do you I think there's potential it, it can happen or is it just him talking? No, I think I think there is potential. Yeah. I mean, we all laugh and joke. We know there's been a bit of rumours about, you know, the future of, of the Derby. But has to be an equal thing, right, with the owner and the manager. Yeah, I mean, has to meet in the middle to be able to get something there with an extra contract. They both could be on the same track. Yeah. At the moment it's not quite there. Now whether that's the press making the Zerbi look like the bad guy, yeah. or is that really he wants ambition and uh, and, and Tony and, 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 the, and the board probably don't want as much ambition as what deserve it. That's where the, they parted the board. Yeah. Still putting in great performances against Liverpool. In the zone, with the tone. Bosh. See, here we are then, Andrew, outside of the ground. Um, Oscar! Oscar! Hey, hello mate, you alright? You good? Talking about atmosphere, um, what would you rate it? Obviously, first time you being here, what would you rate it? Because you've been to quite a few away, uh, away grounds now. What would you rate it, uh, Old Anfield? I'd say they were, they were a good nine out of ten. Yeah. It's just you know, it's they, you know, they're passionate about they're passionate about their team. They're passionate about the club. Going for the title, aren't they? And so you can see that, and you can totally and the you know and the singing. Yeah. You know, you know, you've got the, you've got the famous song, you know, Never Walk Alone. It's seeing that for the first time live is 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 incredibly special because yeah. you, you see it they, they you see it on the TV and stuff, but never yeah, live. You don't never, hear no. it in real life. That's what. If you're a Liverpool fan watching this and you're you know, itching to get down to the Anfield, as a Brighton fan in a way, and I'm very lucky really, we, we get these opportunities to come to the grounds like this. So yeah, it's been incredible. But atmosphere towards the away end side today, I thought was pretty shocking, like really quite low with the voices. And even when we won it up, I still think we couldn't quite believe that we won it up. We still felt very, um, do you think we could have done better atmosphere wise to bring, bring back the team a little bit? The away atmosphere was a little bit low today, wasn't it? it was. Nowhere near as passionate as we normally are. No. And I don't know whether it's because we've come to Anfield expecting to lose it. And they were and loud, maybe they and shut us up. They maybe, us, maybe, maybe. And there were chances that we could have, you know, we could have made it loud. Yeah. I think it's just, you know, I think there's just so Nervous. much going on. And there's the nervousness within yeah. within, within the, the away fans, you know. You're going to hope when, they go, when we go back to the Amex, we're going to be rocking the place. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it just I've seen better away days yes. with crowd. Yeah. They played well though, they had a good game. They did, they did. We yeah. just need to make sure that we do exactly the same kind of game Info. or even better than that against Brentford. Let's see what we can do. Yes, Brentford, absolutely. here we come. Yeah. Andrew, thanks for the no interview, worries, mate. Really no appreciate worries, it. No and uh, well, yeah, yeah you yeah. had a good day. We had a good day, yeah. really. In Anfield, it was rocking. But Brighton fans, we do have to remember they could be winning the league this season. And the fact that we came into this game not thinking we'd do anything, and actually, you know, them just scraping a win, they could be the champions this year. I think that's not a bad result, if you ask me. Let's head back down south, back to Brighton, and get ready for Brentford. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been your boy, Luke East Brighton. Subscribe, like, turn the bell notifications on. And this is me from Anfield for the second time. Bosh.